Yeah, well, yeah, well maybe I don't want to do movies on fucking shitty sharks. You know, I'm just saying. I, I, I gotta go. I, 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 I'm contractually obligated to do at least six shitty shark movies. I gotta go. The show's on. I gotta, I gotta go. Great as human film. Sorry about that. I was uh, talking to my manager. Not for long. Anyways, welcome to the ghoul, the bird, and the fugly. That's right, it's your favorite show. Brought to you by Chop Block TV. That's right, we got the chopper. We got the block. We got it all. And this week, I got a perfect, perfect movie for you. If you want a, a really, really shitty shock movie, I'm just saying. I got a lot of these in evidently and contractually obligated, whatever the hell that means, to, to have to play review, watch, rip review these kinds of movies. Right Shark Island. Yeah, that's the newest one that's on my list. It's old, but it's new to me. You know, it, it's, it's, it is what it is. Shark Island came out in 2012. Yeah, imagine that. 2012, the apocalyptic year, the end of all the world. It, it, that never happened, unfortunately. I kind of wish it would have, and then we wouldn't have to worry about watching Shark Island. Yes, that's right. Now, Shark Island was directed by an up-and-coming, a, 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 an amazing director. You know, he's like a fish out of water when he's not directing. That's right, his name was Bruce. And he was a big, giant piece of shit. He was actually the prop, prop shark from Jaws. Yes, that, yeah. Somehow, they, they decided, you know, that they were going to let him direct the movie. And the reason why they let Bruce direct this movie is because this movie is from the people that fell asleep while watching Saw and woke up in the middle of watching Jaws. That's right, according to the back of the movie, Saw meets Jaws. I think it's more like a, a ripoff of both Saw and Jaws. You know, I gotta say, this, this movie is from the people that watched Saw and said, Saw needs more fucking sharks! Lots and lots of sharks, different kinds of sharks, as many sharks as we can get that actually want to eat people in a horrible CGI fashion, in an exact duplicate ripoff of Saw, only made on an island, so it's different, and it has it has sharks. Yeah, I digress. I, I digress. All right, I'm just saying that uh, you know they give away the ending on the cover of the movie. They say. Seven people, seven sharks, one survivor. Well, thanks for giving away the ending to the movie, asshole. For fuck's sake, I got enough spoiler alerts in real life. You know, I don't need them on the cover of the fucking movie that I'm getting ready to watch. Oh, God. And speaking of watching this movie, you might, you might want to, uh, partake in a, a couple of a, a snacks of some kind. I'm just saying, this, this has got an all-star bang-up cast. You know, when the landmines have more personality than the cast in the movie, you know you got a fucking winner of a shark movie. Ow! I'm telling you, you got fucking half ass wish.com Bill Burr. It's not even Bill Burr, but it sure as fuck looks like him. Always sunny in Sharkville, Mac. That's right, this guy looks exactly like Mac from Sunny in Philadelphia, but it's definitely not Mac. It is not. And then you've got the the man that plays Jig Jaws. Yes, yes, I went there. He actually looks like the, but the discount section version of uh, Steven Spielberg or George, no, George Lucas. That's right, George Lucas. My bad. I always get those two confused because they're both pompous assholes in my opinion but still i like their movies i like their movies but he looks like the prequel version of george lucas you know like that jar jar binks loving version of george lucas before he realized that jar jar binks was definitely not going to be the best character ever in star wars unless they would have made him into that sith now if they would have done that they could have been onto something there but i digress there's a forgettable performance by Sally Sharkbait. That's right, Sally Sharkbait. Right here, you can see her. She's she's probably right about here. Maybe she's over here. Is, is Sally over here? Anyways, Sally Sharkbait is phenomenal in this movie, but her performance is only outdone by Rabbit. At least, I mean, 
that's who I think it is. I think Rabbit got off from Eight Mile, finally got himself a job. They were like, hey, discount Eminem. You want to be in a shitty shark movie and wear a beater tank top and you know, just act like a, a fucking idiot? Come on, let's go. It's better than fucking working wherever you are when you're puking fucking spaghetti all over yourself, you know? And then the, the impeccable, the unbelievable, the completely forgettable, Yancey Butler is in this movie. Now, the reason why I say she's impeccable and unforgettable, although she's completely forgettable, is because her fucking eyebrows need to be CGI'd, all right? The eyebrows are so bad on this woman that I swear to God I wanted her to get eaten by a shark just so I could have the satisfaction of seeing those eyebrows on the shark, possibly, because they messed up the fucking CGI. Now, in regards to the CGI, if you like movies with lots of sharks just biting at nothing, like biting water, and then all of a sudden they're like, ah, oh, I did, a shark got me, then you'll love this movie. It's literally beat for beat saw, but with sharks on a fucking island. Now, there is, there is one thing that I will say before I give my rating on this. There is one point in that movie that saved the entire movie, and that is the use of of the Wilhelm scream. Oh, I love it. I love it. When Jig Jaws, no spoiler alerts, but when Jig Jaws ah! finally meets his fate, they, they're so cheap, they copped out and used the fucking Wilhelm scream. I like that in my shitty shock movies because I am a big fan of the Wilhelm scream. It's been around for a long time, since the 50s or earlier. It could have actually possibly been earlier, but they just didn't have a recording of it because they didn't have fucking sound in movies or TV because there was no TV. Ah! But I digress. This movie, it's fucking bad. It's bad. But it's not that bad. So I'd have to say, watch it. Watch what's on TV.